Right, here we are. I've got my back to the manor house now. So in the distance there is the footbridge over the railway in the canal and the oat house and our garden, the old orchards on the left. Right, so this is our boundary wall here and then we're turning round here. That is the road up to the uh, railway bridge and at the top of there is a sharp right hand corner and this is the high street which goes up to the Harrow pub and a few cottages there on the right. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you this bit of part of it. Now you can see our boundary fence which is the hedge and the wall and you can see this is the start of this disputed bit of land now between the road and, uh, and the hedge which is it starts here probably about five feet wide and then probably goes up to about 15 20 feet right so we're walking along here now you can see the oh, you can see the gap now it's about 20 feet now between our boundary hedge and the road I'm, I'm walking along the road so we're about halfway between the corner that sharp right hand corner that goes up to the railway bridge and the manor house behind me right so this tree has fallen between our we've got two Christmas trees here one there I'm showing to you now in the background and another one there in the background and this tree is in line with that conifer tree there <coughs> so what I'm going to do the gap is about uh, from our from that gate on the other side to the road is about 20 feet And what I'm trying to do now is to walk up this bank and all right here's this I oh, can't quite see where the oh there's the bloody trees there excuse the French right there's the tree and you can see the border fence so this tree well, it seems to have come from over there behind this tree here right so this tree was originally on this bit of land between the border our border the old orchard and the road and the road down there so here we come up and it's lying on the gate on our property well he's broken the gate it's a, a five star gate <laughs> that's not actually a gate we just use it as show okay up here to show, to show you where the railway bridge is so you understand this road we're looking at so we're on this road here I don't know if anybody in this village has got a freaking job. They all seem to drive around in four wheel drives and do nothing. Right now this, this area here is rented or leased by you to our next door neighbour Mrs Ruth Cooper and she's had a lease for years. It includes this bit of grass here, rough grass, the hedge, and all that copse there, all those trees. You'll see it on your map. Right now there in the distance is the railway bridge. Now I remember when I was a 10 year old boy back in the late 50s. We used to play here and before all this crap was here we used to play down the side of the railway bridge and the canal bridge. Now, this is obviously where, in the old days, you guys at British Rail, as it was then, used to gain access. Used to get, gain access to, to, the, uh, to the railway bridge and the railway from this side. And you see now, that's our, that's our border fence on the right. And this is this land from the back of our fence to the road. You've actually leased this to our neighbour. And I know this because I've been in touch with your Swindon office a few years ago and a lady because we tried to rent it ourselves. Okay, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the other side and show you where this tree is in relation to our garden from that corner. There's the manor house in front of us. <coughs> so you can see this bit of land here on the left. Right, you can see our border fence there as I'm walking along. You know, we're set back about 15 20 feet. 
some bloody big trees here. Right. Now in August, in the bad weather, August 2011, a tree fell down this way onto this road and if Network Rail didn't cut it all up, then the highways department must have done. Right, and obviously nobody noticed that in all this mess, another tree had fallen the other way. Corner there from the railway bridge and the other corner you can hear a train in the background and the other corner going down to the footbridge and it's roughly halfway between both on this land between the road and our boundary hedge fence gate whatever you call it just come back now into our garden so just come round this corner and this is the old orchard that's the house right this tree is directly up there just to the left of that big Christmas tree that my mother managed to plant 25 right so this is the boundary wall from the other side from the old orchard garden you can see the perimeter fence hedge goes up there and you can see where 25 years ago another tree fell through here and smashed the hedge and uh, that's why we know it's British Rail because we've been here before our family have lived here 60 years it's not as if we're renting right so this is the this is the tree the culprit it smashed our five bar gate it wasn't a gate it was just a cosmetic thing to fill the hole in the hedge but you can see it's damaged the gate it's ironic that it's fallen in the same place as the other one did years ago and you can see that it's come from this area halfway between the manor house and the corner this area between the road and uh, and our boundary hedge okay let's hope that solves it and this is the old orchard garden it's bloody huge but this has been like this this tree since sometime in August so you know we need something done now if it's not your land there's not a problem is that we'll claim the land and have the tree cut down because we've been maintaining parts of this to get access to our hedge okay